how are you all uh, i hope that you are doing extremely good so let's solve this problem from the lead code contest 356 problem c shortest string that contain three strings uh, you can see that like and dislike ratios 38 likes and 50 we usually don't see this type of uh, likes and dislikes ratio in the lead code so i felt like this problem was bit tough bit tough and i felt uh, this type of problems were asked in lead code forces contest like these are like constructive algorithms like we need to construct we to construct a lexicographically smallest one so let's understand the problem like let's solve this problem parallelly like let's solve this problem together so that it will be a bit easy so for in the first let's understand the question it states that given three strings a b c and our task is to find a string that has the minimum length it should be minimum length and contains all three strings as substrings now if you see this example abc bca and abc bca and aaa and he given out aaa bca if you see that abc is present abc is present bca is present bca is present aaa is present aaa so this is our answer if if my answer is a a b and my another answer is b a a these two are the minimums these two are the minimums and he is stating that if there are multiple substrings multiple such we need to return the lexicographically smallest one what is the lexicographical a a b is the lexicographical small how we will check we will check a b which is smaller a is smaller directly if if it is a a b and a a c we will check a a it is same a a it is same b is smaller than c it is lexicographically the smallest one this is the lexicographical smallest one this it is the definition and substring is a continuous sequence of characters within a string so there is a difference between substring as well as a sub sequence sub sequence is such that if you remove some characters in between then also it is valid sub sequence but if in substring we need to either remove from the beginning or we need to remove from the end that's it and it should be in between and it should be the array should be continuous huh so it we have given this example a b c b c if you see like what exactly is happening so let's a b c b c a and a a a uh, a b c b c a now if we concatenate these both strings a b c b c a this b c b c is repeating right this b c b c is repeating so what we will do we will remove one right we can remove one then what we will get a b c a a b c a if you concatenate with this a a a if you see that this a is repeated this a is repeated if we can remove this we can remove this we are getting a b c a a a this this is one of our answer we can't say that uh, if we are getting multiple this such type of answer we need to go for lexicographically the smallest one if you see the permutations in this way we are getting this answer if you see the permutations like this if we are take a a a and what we will say okay i will take a a a in the beginning and i will concatenate with a b c i will concatenate with a b c and if you see that this a this a is repeated so i what will i will remove one a a a b c then i have b c a b c a now what i will do b c b c r same i will remove one b c we are removing a a b c a this is our final answer so if you see that we can concatenate this two or we can concatenate this two there are like different possibilities so we have three characters a b c if you consider this as s1 s2 and s3 you can concatenate this in three factorial ways in three factorial ways 3 into 2 into 1 total six ways we can do this so first let's see the code from we can go from the code and then we can see how we can optimize or or how we can solve it. what i'm doing i'm pushing this into different vectors a uh, a a a b c then i'm iterating i equals 0 i less than 3 j equals 0 j less than 3 k equals 0 k less than 3 i am taking six possibilities six po if it is then we can take n possibilities if there is no worries the question has been only three substrings so we are going with three possibilities three factorial six and this should not be equal because if 
we can we can't concatenate like a a a a a these both are same so we can't concatenate right we can't concatenate in that way if the indexes are matching we can't do that and we are calling a solve function uh, in the solve function in the first way in the first thing what we are doing we are uh, suppose if we are taking this example same a b c b c a a b c b c a a a a we are concatenating this two in the first solve let's see like what solve function is doing then after getting the answer from this after getting the answer from this we are concatenating this with triple a we are concatenating with this triple a and i will explain you this thing as well now uh, let's let's see the how the solve function is solved uh, suppose in the first step in the first step if the substring is present uh, i will say like ayush i suppose i have a b c d and another string i have b c d this is a string this is a string it is substring in this string so this string is present in the above string so what we can do we can say okay let's directly return a a dot find b if x is not equals to minus 1 if the substring is present if substring is present then we are directly returning it i don't care about it then let's solve this problem this is not as, as complicated you think uh, it's pretty easy i will explain you what exactly the logic uh, logic is written over here mm, suppose if you concatenate a b c and b c a a b c and b c a suppose if you are taking this as a and other string as b suppose consider this a and this is b so what i am doing is that no b c b c this is matching i am iterating from a i am iterating from a and i am checking whether it is matching or not a a a b now i am iterating and i am saying like whether it is matching or not a b it is not matching so i will say okay let's <laughs> let's stop over there and let's see for some some <laughs> some other string see uh, we, uh, like if it is matching we are continuing or else we are breaking or else we are breaking suppose then i is coming over here then bb is matching then a of k is equals to b of j a of k is equals to b of j and we are incrementing the c then this c and this c is matching uh, again it is incrementing the c and we have reached uh, till the end till the end here we are writing the condition k less than or equals to a dot c k is i k is less than and j is also less than if k is reached the, to the end if it is reached till the end what we can say that this is this is the repeated string this is the repeated string so we got the count right now suppose the count is 2 uh, we can start from index 2 because 0 1 2 we will can start from index 2 and we can push all the remaining elements it's pretty simple guys like i will explain with some other example suppose you have a b c d e and you have c d e first i will do a this both are matching this both are matching so from starting we need to come till the end and this should collide this should collide then only we can concatenate both the strings if a b c d e and we have c d f if it is c d f i we can we can't concatenate this if c is matching with c d is matching with d but e is not matching with f if you concatenate how we can concatenate if you see we need a substring not the sub sequence so we can't concatenate so to concatenate it we need to reach till the end of the array still end of the string so then only we can concatenate so this is the condition if you reach at the end then we can concatenate it so if you see the logic i is equals 0 i less than a dot size j is equals to 0 k is equals to i and k is less than a dot size and j should be less than also b dot size if it is matching we are incrementing it if directly it is matching suppose in the beginning it is not matching directly we are breaking it out i don't want that thing and k is also not reached till the end k is also not reached till the end then i am coming for b and still it is not matching then i am coming for c then i am coming for c it is matching <laughs> it's c it is matching then we are incrementing it then we are incrementing it 
then we are incrementing the c and if we are d we are incrementing then e we are incrementing till reached till the end so we are concatenating this substring and if if the substring is not present this is also one more if the substring is not present suppose a b c d we have e f this is not present in this substring we can directly concatenate into it and we are returning the answer so if you see this what would be the time complexity here we are iterating order of six times uh, it is pretty normal we can say that and then here here we how much we are iterating here order of n square it will take hardly order of n square so if you see that uh, it is given only n so the time complexity would be order of n square and the space would be a uh, space would be pretty straight for order of like how many strings are present a plus b plus c and i think you understood this solution and if you understood like please like and do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching